Hi there. Now, for this part of the question then, we had to work out the exact value of this area S here and give it in the form A over B plus the natural log of C, where A, B and C were integers to be found. So, how do we do this? Well, we should know that to get an exact area here, we need to integrate the equation of the curve, y here, with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 3. So if we put that up, okay, we should have that the area s is equal to the integral of y okay, with respect to x between the limits 1 and 3. And obviously I've replaced y with what we're given here in terms of x. Okay, so having got that, let's just remove this graph here, give us a bit more room. We now have to integrate each of these three terms. Now to integrate this first term here, because I've got a product of two functions of x, x squared times the natural log of x, I'm going to be using integration by parts. And I'm also going to take this division by 3 out the front and see that as multiplying x squared natural log of x with a third. It makes the integral a lot easier to work with. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with integration by parts. If not, do check out my video tutorials on this. But here's the formula for integrating by parts. And if you've watched those tutorials, you'll know that when you're integrating something with a natural log of x in, then that part is the u part, okay? And that means that x squared here is the dv dx part. I'll just write it over here as a reminder, okay? So we've got u is the natural log of x and dv by dx is equal to the x squared. Okay, so when I'm working with this, I'm going to pull this dividing by 3 out as 1 third times x squared times the natural log of x. It's going to make the integral a lot easier to work with. So just put a square bracket up here first of all, and we'll pull that 1 third out. So all I'm doing now is concentrating on integrating x squared times natural log of x by using integrating by parts. So I'll put a bracket up here. We'll have one of these squiggly ones, okay? So using the formula then, okay, we've got the u part, okay, which is going to be natural log of x. So pop that in there, put it in brackets as well. Natural log of x multiplied by v. v is the integral of x squared with respect to x, and that will be x cubed over 3. Remember, we add 1 to the power and divide by that new power. Now I've got minus the integral of v, v being this part here, okay, the integral of dv by dx. So just copy down x cubed over 3, and then we multiply this with du dx. We differentiate u, which is now natural log of x, with respect to x, and get 1 over x, a standard result that you should already be familiar with. And we integrate this with respect to x. And then I'm going to finish off that bracket there. So we've got one third then times all of this lot. So that's the integral of this starting to go forward. Okay. Now, if I look at this term here, minus 2x, integrating that with respect to x, add 1 to the power. So you'll get x to the power 2 and divide by the new power 2. Okay, for a constant, in this case 5, you just put an x behind it. So it's 5x. And I'll just square this off with the brackets. And we've got our limits here between 1 and 3. Okay, now what I'll do now is I'll just remove that formula so that we've got more room to move on. And what I want to do next is just 
clean this up we'll have our square bracket here first of all and I'm going to multiply through by the one third so one third times x cubed over three is going to give me x cubed over nine and then we've got that multiplied with the natural log of x and for this one remember we've got one third times the result here well I can see that we're going to have one third times this third here that's going to be minus one ninth when I take into account that negative sign there and I'm going to pull that out the front of the integral being a constant it'll make it a lot easier to work with and then I've got x cubed divided by that x there is just going to give me x squared and that's integrated with respect to x okay and cleaning up this term here the twos cancel just leaving me with minus x squared and then we got the 5x on the end and we'll square off that bracket there and put our limits in between x equals 1 and x equals 3. Next just going to clean this up a bit further by working out that integral here. So we've got x cubed then over 9 times the natural log of x and when it comes to integrating x squared with respect to x that's going to be x cubed over 3 times it with a negative 1 ninth and you're going to end up with minus x cubed over 27 okay and then we've got minus x squared here and the plus 5x and we'll put our limits back in between x equals 1 and x equals 3 all right now let's start substituting our limits in we'll put the 3 in first of all so we've got 3 cubed which is going to be 27 divided by 9 that's going to give me 3 and we've got the natural log of 3 okay 3 times the natural log of 3 putting 3 into this term gives us 3 cubed which is 27 divided by 27 that's going to get, come out as negative 1 there and then we got minus 3 squared which is 9 so minus 9 and then 5 threes are 15 and I'll put that all in one set of brackets and from this we have to subtract what we get when we put 1 through now I can see immediately here the natural log of 1 that's going to be 0 so 0 times anything here is going to be 0 I'll just put 0 there put 1 into this term we get minus 1 27 and then we got minus 1 here and plus 5 there okay minus 1 and plus 5 right let's tidy this up now and we're trying to head down to this format here so I can see that if we just look at concentrating on the non-natural log terms so I've got 15 minus 10 here that's going to be 5 and I can see here I've got minus 1 out of 5 that's 4 then that becomes minus 4 so I've got 5 minus 4 which is 1 and then I've got plus 1 27 so one whole one is 27 27 add another 27 to that and that's going to give me 28 27 okay so that's my fraction now I've got to look at the natural log terms so I've got just that 3 natural log of 3 and I can use the power rule here I can see this as being the natural log of 3 all raised to the power of 3 should be familiar with that rule there so that's the natural log of 3 to the power 3 and I can see I'm getting there now because this is going to be equal to 28 over 27 plus the natural log of 3 cubed which is 27 and you can see I've broken it down to this form here if we're to give the value of a it's going to be 28 the value of b would be 27 and the value of c would be 27 okay